Hello and welcome to a new video where we are going to take yet another look at The Last of Us Part 1 on the RTX 2070 Max-Q because there has been a recent debate about 8GB VRAM cards not being enough for modern AAA titles anymore I thought to myself maybe it would be a good idea to take yet another look at this game as it is one of the worst performers of this year and has been notoriously hard to run on 8GB cards. So what we are trying now is playing this game at the moment at 1440p with NVIDIA DLSS activated and set to the quality setting and we are playing this game at the high settings preset and as you can see right now the suggested VRAM usage is already surpassing the VRAM memory capacity of our video card. So let's see how it runs because we are not in the in the quarantine zone in the city anymore so we are in actually a very demanding area and I am eager to find out if we will actually encounter any of the VRAM issues that other people have described so far. And as you can see on the top left corner not only is our our graphics card completely utilized at the moment but also the VRAM is basically completely maxed out and this is for me the first time that I actually see any game to be using that much VRAM so it is I guess not a bad sign for this card that we are already using all of the VRAM that we have available since we are not seeing any major stutters, any major lags right now, which would be the worst case scenario. But our frame time graph, which you can see in front of you, actually looks pretty good and pretty smooth. And I think we're gonna crank up the brightness a little bit in order to see something in this game. Where is it? There you go. Because it's actually pretty hard to make out anything on the camera, so there you go. And yeah, I'm gonna craft something for a gun real quick. There you go. Let's upgrade it. I don't think we actually do have a lot of options to upgrade it. No, we don't. That's all right. So let's continue with the game. And I've seen some people saying that you actually have to play this game for a while in order to encounter these really hard issues with the with the VRAM. So this is our mission for today to play a lot of this game and actually find out if we will encounter any of these problems. But so far it doesn't look too bad for our graphics card. I mean, keep in mind this is 1440p even though we are uh, using an upscaling technique uh, not like, but we are using NVIDIA DLSS as upscaling technique but this is still 1440p and I mean since there already have been reports about problems with uh, this card at 1080p or similar cards at 1080p I am actually pretty impressed that we are seeing this kind of performance at 1440p right now. I mean, truth to be told, we are inside a building right now, so I guess this isn't the most demanding area we will encounter in these, in these levels. But if I am playing this correctly, I guess we will be able to get through this chapter fairly quick. So yeah, let's try to finish this up as quick as possible. But yeah, our graphics card actually, if you remember the last time we played, I think that was at 1080p. Uh, our graphics card actually didn't have too much to do there. Okay, I have to concentrate a little bit in order not to get killed here. I'm pretty sure 
that I know where we have to go and I hope we have a knife. Yeah, we do have a knife. All right. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, if you look at the GPU usage, it is actually at 99% right now, which is a lot higher than what we have been seeing in the, in the quarantine zone level. So this is pretty interesting to me, or it, it isn't really interesting. I mean, we are playing at 1440p, so obviously we are going to see a higher graphics card usage. But this just means that even though our CPU is also doing a heck of a lot in this game right now, we are still GPU bound at the moment. Which does result in a pretty nice and smooth frame time graph as you are seeing right now. Alright, let's save our companion. If I can shoot, or rather if I can hit something. Okay, how in the world did that not hit? Keep in mind though that I am playing behind a camera so I am not able to see everything that's going on on the screen. I'm literally just trying to... <laughs> trying to not die here and get, oh my god, away from this guy and get through these levels as fast as possible in order for you to see as many different levels as we humanely can in such a short playing time. All right, now I guess we should use our pistol a little bit more because we actually do have some ammo for that, unlike for our revolver. All right. Let's go, my friends. And we're back outside. And yeah, you can see that the frames have dropped a little bit. I mean, we were in the 50s before, now we're in the 40s. Which both is not optimal for this game. But to be honest, I also do think this is quite enough for 1440p. I mean, since people were already saying that this graphics card should struggle at 1080p, Let's just go and uh, play at 1080p then. And what we're gonna do is actually disable NVIDIA DLSS because it should not be necessary at 1080p. And I think we are seeing that some textures are not loading correctly right now. Let's hope that this is going to get better in the near future. Yeah, now they're loading in. All right. I guess the ground textures will load as well. Just give him a little time. And use this plank to get across. And I mean, yeah, this is native 1080p high settings right now. No upscaling technique is involved. And to be quite frank, we're seeing a little higher now. We're seeing actually a lot higher FPS than what we saw even with DLSS at 1440p. <laughs> but yeah, nevertheless, both have been really playable at the moment. I mean, coming from a console limitation with 30 FPS, I guess seeing 48 or not FPS at high settings actually is somewhat of a very nice performance here. And I mean, we've been playing for roughly 10 minutes now and there hasn't been any, any real stutters. And the frame time graph has been smooth basically all the time. So I really do not see why it should be problematic to play with 8 gigabytes of VRAM. All right, let's go. I mean, we, I guess there may be some levels that are even more demanding than what we are seeing here, but we do see a lot of greens and 
I am pretty convinced that this is still one of the rougher levels to to play through. Girl, can you move? Yes, thank you. Alright, yeah, I think we're gonna play a little more and see how this level turns out to look. And it. Yeah, I'm seeing some stuttering, but I mean, we are probably loading in a new area here. And these have been, at least to my knowledge, the only two real stutters that I have seen so far playing right now. Yeah, but this should be a really manning scene here. And we are yet to see any real starters here. So yeah, I wouldn't really mind playing like that. And I think the game, I mean, I guess at at the ultra settings it does look a little bit better than at, at high settings. But high settings still looks pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, and we're gonna skip that one because I think after that we are getting into a pretty intense fighting scene that actually is very intensive. So that should be a really nice indication as to how well this game runs. Yeah, you're seeing some dips here. Oh yeah, this is not completely smooth, but yeah, yeah, I'm seeing some really hard stutters here, and you can see them as well, obviously, in the frame time graph. There, uh, it's happening again. But none of that would be a deal breaker for me right now. It is still very playable, to be honest. And I think those stutters have been due to the fact that it's loading in some new things. And right now it is pretty smooth again. And to my knowledge, this is a fairly intensive area here. So if we are seeing these kind of FPS here, that is pretty good. All right, let's go and advance a little. Maybe it's a bad idea to go to the left. First, we're gonna take out this guy. And I hope nobody saw that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Close call. Close calls all around. No, 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 no. Don't snitch on us. But yeah, I mean, you, you can see the frame time graph. Obviously, it is not a completely flat line because we are not really playing with very high FPS right now. But yeah, okay, there was a little stutter there. But generally speaking, this is very smooth. Yeah, let's take care of the last guy, I hope, here. And then just go and... Make a run for it. Yeah, I think we actually have to get rid of these guys though. Alright.
But yeah, I mean, we have been playing for 15 minutes now and there was a huge stutter right now. <laughs> and I already wanted to end this video on a good note. Oh, that hurts. Okay, let's let's play for another minute and see how it does. But I guess obviously we are loading uh, an entire new floor and that is prob probably the reason why we just saw this, this stutter, this huge stutter there. And then again, now that we are actually on this floor, it is not stuttery at all. It's not choppy, it's not laggy, it's just as smooth as before. And you can see that we are also not in the GPU limit anymore because we are playing at 1080p again and our i7 simply cannot put out any more frames than what we are seeing right now. So yeah, I guess that actually is a problem because you you probably do not have a better CPU if you have a 2070 Max Q in your laptop. So that's probably gonna be a laptop from 2019. And if you have a Max Q GPU, you probably do at max have an i7 in there. So yeah, I guess that is as good as it gets for you. Hey, come a little closer, mate, and find out. Don't be shy. <laughs> oh, now it's clear. You haven't even checked this corner, mate. Oh, come on. I do everything by myself. Alright, but I actually do think this is quite enough. This is quite enough for this video. I mean, you've seen 70 minutes of gameplay and you should be able to tell by now that this actually is a smooth and playable experience. So I don't really know what uh, the reviewers actually find so bad about 8GB cards in this game because I cannot really second their findings as I do not have any problems playing this game. So yeah, I guess you will have a good time if you want to play it. And I'm pretty sure that your 2070 will be able to run it and handle it just fine. So yeah, if you want, enjoy The Last of Us Part 1 and that's it for this video.